in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. I'm not set up with like my green screen and stuff to record in a minute, but I've just got this random while doing a bit more smithing this morning, and I think I'm gonna have to take the 1000 coins, because that's actually not insignificant for me at this point. Usually I always go with the mystery box, but 1000 GP actually feels pretty good at this stage. And I'll add that to my stack that I made from bronze long swords selling to the shop right now. I thought they had helmets in the shop, so I'm gonna have to go to the helmet shop to sell these off, but I suppose I could sell them at the general store, but it'll be worth less. I do still need to do one more lot of bronze though, or at least like five more bronze bars worth to hit the level. Six bars worth, so I'm gonna go get those now. Well, I figured it was worth just getting set up to record as soon as the, I pretty much woke up and then just got right back into this. The grind is on, folks. It's on. It's not like one hour where I'm limited to how much I can play today. I can actually grind as much as I want on this account, which is a nice change of pace for me. But probably going to make editing me his life harder because there'll be a lot more footage. And here... No, we have to go make them into fucking things first. I thought we were going to get our first iron bars. <laughs> oh. I don't know how Spike hasn't figured this out yet, that he can just pick up iron maces from this table, but I'll take the 25 GP every time I see him. Well, I know the long sword sold for like 27 GP each, so I've only got one bar left now. I'm trying to make stuff that sells now rather than just arrows because I don't feel like we need that many arrows. I'm not sure how much we actually need to do range, to be honest, because right now we don't have access to any range gear and we won't and until we leave Valamor. Like, there's no armor that we can acquire on Valamor. I've looked it all up, every single piece, and there's no way for us to get tan leather. So, yeah, we, we can't really get any range gear. Which is making me think that ranged is not the play that I should be focusing on melee and mage. Which does mean we're going to have to farm a lot of runes. I looked up ways to get an air staff as well, but there isn't any way for us to get one here. Here come our first iron bars. They grow up so fast. wonder how many we actually get. Six bars. We got six bars. That's okay. I'll take the one bar that I picked up yesterday and... I'm going to go and make these into something that I can sell. And a pickaxe, because I need a pickaxe. An iron pickaxe, because this bronze one, not it. This is like my main way of making GP at the minute, but it's also getting my skills up so that I can acquire better gear in future. But mine and smithing, good skills to have to end up on an iron man in any circumstance. Really is a slow respawn timer on that mace, huh? Maybe that's why I don't bother picking it up, just lets people sell it to him because he can't be bothered. Oh, we can't make a pickaxe yet. We can't make a pickaxe anyway. I think we're going to go after hunt down some more bandits, you know. The one one in one, two, eight steel pickaxe drop. That might be the play. Unless we can find a myth one somewhere. Okay, we'll just make whatever we can. At least we don't have to go out to the other mines anymore. We can go down to the ones down here, which are not quite as far from a bank. I think it's time to focus on our melee stats a little. Oh, this shop doesn't take daggers. No way. Okay, let me just check the price of these. 1,000. 2,000? Oh, no. That's more than I was expecting. 400. We can afford that. Get rid of our old one. I guess we can afford the legs, but not the body yet. So I'll have to keep hold of the iron body for now. I'll just take these daggers down to the general store. Well, we're half steeled. Yeah, that 1,000 coins from the mystery box basically just got me a steel plate legs, huh? 
So that's basically a mystery box steel plate legs, which I'm, I think I'm okay with that deal. Probably better than anything we'd get inside. I might just sell my helmets here too. Helmet shop is a trek away. Let's see if this guard paths into the same spot as he did yesterday. Oh, he didn't even see me. Okay. I just want to stock up on some cake. Oh no, he's coming for me. If I go up here and go back down. There we go, I wanted that one on me. Oh no, that one's seen me now too. Got to be a way to trap him. All right, I'm heading back over to the bandits. I'm going to go to the other spot that I found of them up here. And just so you all can see, this is what we're looking at. So there are a fair few nice things we could get here. Air runes, mind runes, are not as many as a drop, but we can pick them up a lot easier. They respawn quicker and in multiples. Uh, chaos runes would be nice as well, of course. I don't know if we can actually get the drop table until we have done the quest. It's there. Uh, they drop some coins as well, which might be nice, and they want a chance of a medium clue or something from the gem drop table. But the main things we're looking for here is that one in one, two, eight steel pickaxe. That'll be really nice for us to do this mining grind quicker because it is a good way of making money for us at the minute, and those air runes, so we want as many as humanly possible. Right, let's see how much we get clawed by these bandits then. I can range them, which is why I brought the knives, just in case I wanted to switch to that, but I'm hoping we can get some melee stats on them. We might just have to train up a bit elsewhere first, because it's not looking good. I'd rather not kill chickens all day again, though. I wonder if we could kill the thieves. There's less on the drop table, but they do still drop air runes, so... If this isn't looking good, I think I'm just gonna range this kill. Okay, we got him down eventually with the knives, but that did take a while. Uh, I think I am gonna go check out the thieves, see if we can melee those more reasonably. Yeah, this is seeming more reasonable for a start. He doesn't have a weapon. <laughs> He's just punching me and I'm hitting him. So this might be a good way to start our melee training. And then once we've got some more levels, we'll be able to take on the bandits and we will at least have a chance of some rune drops here. It is basically just runes that we can get from these guys. There's herb drops as well, but like I say, I'm still not sure if we can even get the herb drop table without starting, without doing Druidy Ritual. All right, I'm going to camp out here and kill the thieves for a bit, slash downstairs, because there's more of them. It's so cool when you're early in a series and your loot tracker's just showing everything that you've done so far. Like, this is the sum of our account, basically. At least all combat and thieving doesn't get the smithing and shit in there obviously but yeah 246 chickens the the highlight and 297 people being pickpocketed what's interesting actually is that it shows man times 297 and i never pickpocketed a man i pickpocketed citizens but it shows man and woman actually 96 and 297 weird Oh, we got an irrit leaf, so we can in fact hit the herb drop table before doing druidic ritual. That feels that makes me feel a lot better about not having done it before coming here. I was worried that we would miss herb drops because we didn't have druidic ritual done yet, but I'm glad to see we've still got them. I think I've kind of decided my goal for this first episode is going to be to try and kill that Colosseum dude. The, the guard in the Colosseum. That might be an ambitious goal. Maybe I'll get halfway and be like, I have enough footage for an episode. But we'll see. At the minute, that's like my main focus that I'm working on. Because I feel like if we can get that fight done, we'll open up so much with the Quetzal travel system that I just don't see any reason to make anything else my primary goal. But we're going to need to train two styles up a fair way, so that's why we're, we're in this grind at the minute. Ooh, we got some chaos runes. It's all not air runes, but we got some chaos runes. Oh, what kind of account gets chaos runes before it gets air runes? To be fair, we did have some air runes, but... And that strength level puts us at a combat level of 14 and base 10 melee stats. And so that's the attacks. I think the extra accuracy is probably the best thing for this early training. But I think I'm going to go rob some cakes in a minute. And then I might go do some more mining. Get some more iron. Because 
I wouldn't mind upgrading my armor. This iron plate body's not really cutting it. And now we can uh, use the iron mine down here. I feel like that's got to be closer to... I mean, we could just go straight to the furnace and then bank it, right? Here to here. It's probably about the same, to be fair. But the furnace is here next to the bank, so... And the anvil, so it's just like all more conveniently spaced near one another. The thing is, we still didn't get that pickaxe yet, did we? We can get the iron one. We'll probably get clapped, won't we? I'll just die again and then... Okay, I think I'm going to do like one invent and see how it works out. Okay, we got a triple iron spot here, so we should never run out. Pretty sure it'll respawn faster than I can mine it at this current rate. Why does mining from behind kind of look like a white girl trying to work? That's a smithing level. I think we've been a bit unlucky on the amount of bars we've actually got here versus failed. It's meant to be 50-50, but we're four fails ahead of successes at the minute. Okay, I don't really want to make iron axes, which is the only thing that I can make currently other than daggers. I don't feel like either of those are going to sell for very much, whereas the maces, we know we can get like 25 GP each for them, that's not terrible. So, I think I'm just going to go get some more iron, and then hopefully by smelting the iron into bars, if I do like one or two runs, then we'll be able to at least make the maces and we can just sell them right at the shop that we're smithing at then. It'll make it a nice little circuit. Oh, baby. Our very first genie on the account. Howdy there, partner. Oh, what do we even put this on? The temptation to put it on agility, but we'd be so far away from a level. Hmm, magic's kind of tempting as well, actually. Is there any spells we could unlock that wouldn't require us to have air runes? Even if they're not a good spell. Confuse with body runes. I think we can get water on earth. Confuse at level three. Prayer's probably a good shout, innit? Because we'll get 100 XP off that. That's probably like the best rate we'll get for anything that actually matters. I think I'll go with that because it's probably our slowest overall skill that we need to get all the way up to 30 before we can even leave Valamore. So that's an extra 100 bonus XP right there. Very nice indeed. Cheers, Mr. Genie. Uh, there isn't really a good way for me to get any body rooms to use Confuse. Goblins drop them, but I don't even know if there are any goblins in Valamore. I don't remember ever seeing any. Yeah, we're gonna need, we're gonna need air runes for a while. Come on, man. What is up with this rate? One out of six. One out of eight? It rips off here. This has actually got to be a joke. How do I go from 28, one in two chances, if these all come through? Nine out of 28. So far, we've had 29 bars and 41 failures. I know I'm an iron man and I did this to myself, but this isn't my fault. Hopefully I can get 12 bars out of the next 28 ores and then we'll actually get the level I wanted. And that's 25 mining. It's our highest level on the account so far. Probably gonna stay that way for the near future. It's a shame we can't like kill any of these dwarves for a pickaxe. There's no one attackable around here. Pretty sure you can't go in here, right? Pretty sure she doesn't sell anything. Nope. Alright, all I'm asking is 12 out of 28. I don't even want to watch it happen. I'm gonna go make a coffee while it while it smelts. Oh what? No fucking way. One bar. 40 out of 98. Okay, I'm gonna take these and make them into whatever I can. See how much cash we get out of it. Okay, I'd get a lot more value out of hopping, but I'm pretty happy with 264 GP for an inventor that they do go down a lot, actually. That last one was only worth like 6 GP rather than 25. I should probably sell like 5 and then hop to do it most optimally. We got an axe out of the equation as well. I don't know, it's not really worth anything. Probably not worth the invent spot rather than just filling up with more iron. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do a few run of this for a bit. Right, I've been doing some more mining and it's not that bad, but I've decided I'm going to risk it, folks. I'm going to try again, even though I haven't put my armor on. I should have, but I'm going to try just see if we can sneak in and get the iron pickaxe from those happy bug swarms. If we, we get it, but we die in the process, then I'm not keeping it. I'm dropping it. 
so you know we have to get it and get out safely <laughs> but fuck it i just decided to spur at the moment got about 1300 gp at the minute i'm trying to go for 2000 for a steel play body but then i'll have to worry about mate after that so we kind of want a sustainable way of making some money on while more because we're gonna need it these guys are gonna be bag and aggro me please no big numbers let me just scavenge these as a walk past please <laughs> humble stay humble Okay, we are in multi. If only we had any runes for telegrab. Okay, maybe I can go around them. I ran straight through them before, but I don't know if the spawn's down there or not. I might be able to go around a bit. Yeah, see, there's a couple down there, but I wouldn't get, like, all seven of them on me this way. Oh, maybe I could, I could make it if I brought armor and food, I'm pretty sure. Without it, I don't know. I'm just waiting for my run to recharge a little more. Is that thing aggroed to me? It hasn't moved in ages. Uh, okay. You have a large wonder range. Okay, and they can see me behind the rock. I feel like I'm just gonna have to run in, grab it, and run out. And if I, I'm, I'm more than likely gonna die in the attempt. But fuck it, we're in out. Just get to like 40 run. Here we go. Oh, not the bronze one. Key the bronze one. Yeah, okay. Well, I deserve that. I might try it again with armor, though. With armor and food. I think it's worth getting it. All right, this is the one, folks. I'm walking out of here with that iron pickaxe. I think I'm going to go around again, though. I think the back approach is better. Oh, you both immediately aggroed me. That's lovely. Here it goes. And we're out. Beautiful. I knew we could do it. The iron pickaxe is mine. And that's how you secure yourself an upgrade in the Wild West. All you need is three tries and eventually coming back with actual gear and food. Ignore the gravestone that I left. There's just three iron arrows in it. <laughs> Wow, such improved mining speed. How is this slower than the bronze one? What the fuck? Okay, the RNG might be turning around a little bit. Alright, don't speak, don't say anything. Nope, it's all gone. Oh, we got a beekeeper. Gonna help out a man with his bees. I'm gonna do all random events on this count because if you do them and you get all the rewards, then they start giving you lamps instead. So it's probably one of the first accounts that I've actually made that's not like a time limited game mode when I actually was aware of that information. Like one hour limit locked, we just never got to do it. Oh, we got a lamp. Wait, did they make it so you don't have to get all the rewards now? They just give you the lamp anyway? I swear I saw a change about that the other day and I was confused by it because I was like, huh? They already give you lamps. Oh, look, it's here. Added XP lamps to the rewards from the beekeeper random event. Okay, so you don't actually have to get all the outfit now either. It's kind of dope. So we just get this lamp and, and how much is it? I don't know how much it is. I think we put it in prayer again though, right? I think we just keep going on that train until I have any better ideas because like getting 10 agility XP at a time is just not going to be worth it. And we're still going to need plenty of magic air runes, even if we hit level 2 or 5 magic or whatever. We're still going to need air runes to do pretty much everything. Because we can't get body runes easily for Confuse. There's the bad luck coming back again. Okay, never mind. We actually got more than 50% iron man. Not complaining. Alright, I think I'm actually going to take these bars over to the sword shop. I'm going to go straight there because there is an anvil in the shop and there's a bank not far off either. Probably about the same distance between the bank as this and this place. But then we can just sell our swords straight away. So we can make long swords now. Should be a, a bit better than the iron maces for profit. Just able to make myself an iron full helm there at the end. Didn't quite get the level for the shield, but that is a helm upgrade. Let's see how much we get for this stuff. Can't sell the regular one here. Interesting. But we get 84 coins each for these. How much is the second one? 81? That's okay. 78's not too bad. It's just losing 3 GP each time. 
So I think cell 5 is fine. Then hop. I'll just run and get the other two bars and the scimitars from the bank. While we're running past, we can sell anything else to the general store that we've made. Oh, why did I sell the scimitars here? They were meant to go to the main shop. I'm dumb. I also forgot my money. I don't really know what to make with this last spare bar, so I guess I'll just go arrow tips. Okay, one steel plate body coming right up. Oh! Damn, this bitch is, like, alert. There we go. Jeez. That was hard work. Let's get ourselves a myth sim ready. I'm gonna go attack straight to the level we need to use this, and then we can do our other ones. I wanna get our DPS upgraded as fast as possible so the XP we're getting is better. Now we've got ourselves a helmet and a steel plate body on top of what we previously had, hoping that will be enough to shore up our defences a bit if this guard doesn't just kill me. This guard's gonna kill me. Okay, I know there's a good way to lure them. Nothing going on here. Move along. No, we've been caught again. Okay, we got like almost a full invent anyway, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go for a smoke before I go back to my combat training. Oh, our first Guan if that's like the actual usable one once you've done the quest. Currently on 13 attack, I think 18 HP. 17. I should look up if there's actually a way for me to get Eye of New in Valamore, because if there is, then there's an argument for me doing Juridic Ritual sooner rather than later. Because attack potions would be super nice here. I would mix that up straight away and just use it immediately. Camtorum is the only shop that sells it here, which we don't get because of Perilous Moons. And I can't see anything on the list that we could kill that drops it that's in our regions at all. Unless there are zombies, but I don't remember seeing any when I looked at the list yesterday. Yeah, so without a way to get Eye of New, there's no reason for us to do Druidic Ritual early, because we can't start herb lottering in any way. Ooh, we got a Renar Weed and a Clue Scroll. Easy. What are the chances this is inside Valamore? Drainer. I mean, it's we can't get studded chaps. But by the time we get to Drainer, we would be able to. It's a doable step, so I feel like I want to hold on to it, but I feel like it's worth dropping just in case another one drops. Because they do last for an hour on the ground there. So I can keep it there for quite a while, just in case we get one that happens to somehow have a Valmore step. 15 attack achieved there. Man, it's a shame we can't get Eye of Newt. The attack potions would actually be blessed. Mind runes? I mean, it's not terrible. We do have to pick those up. They're easier to pick up, but it's still not terrible. Level 12 prayer reach there. The next one gets a superhuman strength, and I have been using my prayers at the minute. I've been fucking flicking them like a madman. Any extra DPS I can get, I will take. Alright, I am out of food, and we just hit 19 attack. We're just one level away from being able to wield. This Mithril Scimitar, but yeah, I don't think we'll get that level without needing more food, because we are still taking pretty consistent damage in there, even with the Steel Plate body upgrade, we are still a 10 defense character, and they are, like, level 16 combat or something? I don't actually know what level they are, but yeah, we're still taking quite a lot of damage, and I do want to get my defense up, it's on the to-do list, but attack and strength come first, so the defense isn't any slower than it has to be. Some decent herbs, but still not a single air rune drop, really was kind of hoping we'd have one by this point. All there is to do is keep trying in that regard. It's nowhere near as stress-free as the RD cake stall is, but still the best source of free food I have right now that doesn't drain my attack levels like one. Well, there's 20 thieving coming in. Ooh, we got a Leo. Shit, I'm in the middle of a game of magic. Just came in from a smoke. I'm not in a game of magic anymore. My opponent just killed me. Wait, where do we store things? Deposit. Okay, I don't think these ones give us lamps until we've done it. Like, oh, enough times to have taken all the rewards. Yeah, I got the zombie shirt. Oh, and the boots. Well, isn't that cute? Eventually though, do enough of those, you do start getting lamps from them. Once you got the emotes and the zombie outfit. A copper ore? The fuck? Don't think that's worth keeping. Not unless somebody drops a tin in a second. And with that swing right there, we can finally equip this blue bad boy. Feels good to finally be wielding something that isn't 
brown or grey. I guess we got the cape, but that doesn't really count because it was also the cheapest thing in the shop. Hopefully this thing hits a bit harder and a bit more accurate. I'm going to swap over to strength as well now that we're at 20 attack and turn this probably up to 20 as well before moving on to defense. Maybe I'll do it to 15. I don't know, until I see a max it at least because I do want some defense levels because we're still taking way too much damage. Oh, I just hit a three. Okay. So we've got three as it stands because of the myth sim rather than the iron sim without any extra strength. Not iron, sorry, steel we're on before. So I guess when when I see a four or maybe even a five, I'll swap to defense for a bit. These kills are much quicker now. Definitely getting a lot more kills in just in the time that we spend, which is nice. More chances of loot. Just need those air runes to show up. Getting tons of herbs from these guys. Don't know where all the rune drops are. Oh, look at those threes coming in. That was like four in a row. We were decimating. <laughs> Another herb. Really wants me to do druidic ritual, huh? Put some eye of newts in Valamore and maybe I would. Oh, we got a max hit of four just as we hit six, 15 strength. Definitely happened at the same time there. I reckon if we get up to 20, we'll be a max hit of five and that feels like a good place to switch over to defense. So I am just going to keep going, I think. I kind of want to see if we can get a four without prayer though, because if we can, then I can't really be arse flicking. It's only even higher than a two. <laughs> There's a three. We had a three max it there. Okay. So yeah, we do need to be using our, what is it? Burst of strength to actually get that max hit of four. Which means I have to keep flicking for now at least one more level. Oh, look at us go though. 20 hit points as well. Definitely starting to become more of a menace. Are there any beginner clues in Valamor? I feel like there wouldn't be. I feel like they're all around Lumbridge and during a Varrock type Mistelin area. Maybe a bit in Falador. So I don't feel like I need to worry about missing the beginner clues. Ooh, can we max it now? Yeah, we can do falls without prayer, baby. I ain't flicking no more, bitch. Oh, I'm filling up on the herbs too fast, though. I don't want to drop these because you have to keep them. I'll just go run to the bank real quick. We do have full run energy after all. Sell this to the shop on the way. I oh, know the shop's like up on the other tier, isn't it? I suppose we could. We don't have a reason to hold on to it, so may as well. 250 GP or something for that. It's not bad. Might have to start trying to get the smithing up to steel level. So. We've had the copper ore twice, which is a 1 in 64 drop. We've had the cabbage, which is a 1 in 128 drop. We had an easy clue scroll, which is a 1 in 128 drop. We've had a chaos rune, which is a 128 drop. We've had mind runes, which is a 1 in 64 drop. We still haven't had any air runes, which are a 1 in 32. The most common rune in the game. Difficult to find on Valamore. We do have superhuman strength now. I should probably check if that gives us a higher max hit with flicking. It probably does though, and that means I have to flick more. I don't know if I can be asked. Yeah, we're about to kill our hundredth thief in a second, and we still haven't seen that one in 32 drop of eight air runes. Those eight air runes are gonna have to go so far, and they won't go very far at all. Only about seven feet, but um, yeah, I'll. I'll stop now. I feel like I'm just gonna have the page for air rune open for the next two weeks. Wait, was that the Avento? One in 118 drop. These kills are so much more quick and consistent now. I should have probably just started on chickens to get a few levels more quickly, but we're there now. Another chaos rune drop, god damn. That one in one two eight drop, I don't know what level you can even use chaos runes, it's probably, yeah, wind bolt level 17. We've got a long way to go before we can use chaos runes. Oh, we just got 19 strength, we're still max hitting fours. I don't know if we'll get another max off the next one. I'm kind of hoping we will, because that'll be very smooth to finish off at 20 for now. 20 strength, 22 combat level. I'm praying we've got another max hit. I'm hoping we see it. No, it's still four. I'm going to have to keep going on strength until I see a five, I think. When I see a five, we can do defense. I only want to get a couple of defense levels anyway and mainly focus on damaging stats. I just don't want to be getting hit constantly by these guys. As long as I'm not eating out like a full inventory of cakes all the time, I'm good. I just really want a couple 
like up to 15 or something. Not even to bother getting different armor. I can't even hit fives while praying. Show me a five. Oh, another cabbage. The one in one, two, eight. Do we have a higher max hit? Please show me a five. Okay, if I'm praying, it's a five. So hopefully that means the next level is a flat five. Oh my gosh, we got our first Aaron drop. Holy shit. Oh, I never thought I'd be so excited to see air runes. This is exactly what this series is going to do to me. What a huge drop for the account. That's eight casts of Wind Blast right there. That is at least, even if they all splash, that is at least almost a level. If we hit one damage with our Wind Blasts, we level up our magic for the first time. Huge. Huge. Wind Burst even. Wind Strike. Got it wrong like six times. I can't believe we finally have air runes. I hope to add a stack of air runes by this stage, but I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain while they're sitting there in my inventory. That would be ungrateful. Okay, can we hit fives without prayer now? Still four. Finally, we can hit fives without prayer. Okay. Now the only question is, when we swap over to the defensive style and lose the invisible strength buff that you get from being on an aggressive style. Can we still hit fives? Nope, we can't. I'm gonna do another strength level. More mind runes is nothing to sniff at. Another prayer level there as well, 14. Doesn't quite unlock anything new, but nice to see nonetheless. All from regular bones and a couple of imp ashes, but mostly regular bones. If you've never played an Iron Man before, this video is a great introduction to what Iron Man is like, except I'm making it even worse by having these extra restrictions on top. Things like burying bones at every kill is just after how you have to play an Iron Man in the early game. To be fair, if I had access to the wilderness right now, I'd probably save the regular bones and take them to the altar. I would bank bones. I'm that type of guy, but... Alright, 25 strength, time to see if that's enough to hit fives on defensive. It's not still. It's still not! Oh, we're gonna have to keep going, y'all. Oh no, more strength levels. I don't know why I said that like such an oo eagle. There's 23 hit points to round it out. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that. I was in the bathroom. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave that canteen. Unless we can get back in time. Speedy. Let's go! Do we still get the canteen? We do! Is that going on prayer? It's probably the best shout, to be honest. We just don't have enough levels in anything that's relevant to lamp for it to be worth anything. And we're still working with basic bones. Big bones aren't even that much better when we do move on to them, but that's not going to be in the near future even, so. All of these lamps are like, that lamp was 210 prayer XP, that's like, divided by 4.5. It's like 50 bones right there. I think these guys have like a 1 in 5 rate of dropping herbs. Just like ever any herb. I did the mental math earlier, roughly. Getting so much, like, herb lore XP stacked up, it's actually pretty nice. But we can't get started until we unlock Mr. Lind because of the lack of Eye of Newt, so... It's all just, like, stuff that I'm like, oh, this is really nice to see, but it's not going to help me for ages yet. We'll be very happy to have it all banked when we do get there, though. Still a long way from Mr. Lind yet. Don't think I've done any of the goals so far, have I? Oh my gosh, it's so annoying when they catch you. I'm going to have a look in this food shop, see what the prices are like. So I remember there being some weird stuff in here. Oh, it's raw though. We'd need cooking levels. Oh, it was cooked. Herring we could make. Ten coins each. You're having a laugh, mate. Fish my own. I've got seven fishing. Twenty-one thieving. Yeah, we still haven't done a single task yet off the the checklist that we need to get our passport out of Valamore to Mistelin, where our envoys are stationed. But the one that we're closest to is probably the obtain and equip an adamant item. Although I'm going to be doing defense for a few levels and then doing attack. I think at 30 attack is when we'll get that. Still need to finish off that strength level as well though. So that we can max it fives on defense. Because I think five is just a nice place to, to stop. We are making good progress towards 
the prayer level needed for bone shards at the libation ball but we still need a lot level 30 is a lot more xp it's, it's like 15,000 xp for level 30 so i do think if we're going to be looking at that anytime soon we need to be on big bones which means killing hill giants or moss giants preferably because moss giants are much more useful drops there is the 26th level time to see if we hit higher Oh, still a max hit four. Man, the extra bonus from being on that style really must make a difference. Guess we're going another strength level. At this point, it's like we've invested too much time in this methodology to change things up. I must be the only person on the planet that rolls their eyes at a Renar weed and jumps for glee at air runes. That's why they call me Woody Wild. 27 strength, 25 combat level. Is this... When we can finally... Yes, that was a 4 that wasn't a max hit. Okay, we can train defense for a few levels. And there's a defense level already. <laughs> okay, I basically just want to train it until I'm not getting slapped in the face all the time. I don't know. 15. If it feels okay at 15, I might stop there. I'll still get hit a lot. I'll probably go to 20. But I'd rather go to 20 when we move on from the Thebes than at the Thebes. I want to get the kill time quick. So we can just get DPS from them while still having a lower chance at the air rune drop than we would at the bandits. I've come a long way from throwing knives at chickens, y'all, and now hitting fives with the myth sim, even on defensive. And there's another defense level, look at them just flying in. This is why you train your attack and your strength before defense, folks. Because early defense gear is just about defense, which is good, granted, it stops you taking as much damage, but it's not... Like, melee gear doesn't give you strength bonuses at lower levels or accuracy bonuses like mage and range gear does. They at least give accuracy bonuses. <laughs> There's 24 hit points, loads of levels coming in. 13 defense. Already noticing a difference in the amount of hits we're taking just from three levels. I went to eat way less, which is good because it just takes time to get food. Just takes time, that's all. But it's time we could be training, getting drops. Okay, I'm going to try staying on 15 for a bit, see what it's like, and get some more attack levels. I want to work towards that Addy Sim for the extra bonus that it'll have above the Myth one. It'll be a big upgrade to our DPS, and a bigger upgrade than any amount of levels at this stage would contribute. Third 100 in 28 drop of a cabbage, with only one 1 in 32 drop of air runes. Jag XY is a troll! more mandarins at least never gonna complain at those that's 21 attack 27 overall combat level pretty soon we'll be able to walk by scorpions without them harassing us you know i'm not sure where they get a good offhand weapon on this account not weapon but like a, you know we don't get defenders because we don't get asgarnia we don't get the berserker shield because we don't have moral wreck or karamja we don't Oh, we could get a dragon fire shield, I suppose. That would be the best. But other than that, there's like no real good offhand for us, right? And we don't have dragon sims either, because we never get monkey madness. So I'm wondering if like a two-handed weapon is going to be the meta for me. Because like something like, for example, a rune warhammer is going to... Or a rune 2H even. That's going to do better than a sim with bronze square shield or whatever actually can we even make a dfs without having done dragon slayer because we'll never be able to do dragon slayer without karamja you have to start dragon slayer one you don't have to have done it so okay i guess if you start it you can get the anti-dragon shield which is all stuff we can do within our region so yeah we can get the dragon fire shield technically but it'd be exceptionally rare for us i think kbd would be the most likely source of it if anything, because we never get Addy or Rune Drags either. We don't have Fossil Island, that's not within my Mistelin, nor is Cenaris. This defense level seems pretty chill for now, like I'm not taking that much damage, I'm just eating every now and then enough to make space for the drops that I'm getting, so I'll feel pretty comfy to come back when I've banked after a full invent and like just only bring half an invent of food with me next time. 
stay on attack now till we get 30 and we get that Addis in and then I'll probably do defense up to 20 so we can get myth armor before strength up to 30 as well and then I might be looking at those bandits again of course we need to make some money to afford all this shit so well, that's a factor too oh shit it's 415 I better roll if you're new to my channel there is one thing that I am religious about and it is 420 okay I'm gonna bank while I'm rolling curse I've got a full invent anyway. I may as well run down my run energy so it can be recharging while I'm having the smoke. 25 big hit points. Not little ones, big ones. We are a quarter of the way to the maximum hit point level. That's how it works, right? 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 Oh, we got air runes! Oh, that's the second drop. That's big. 16 casts. My prized possession right now. Yes, we got another air rune drop. Let's go. Three of them. They're finally coming through at 253 KC. I won him 32 drop. Let's do the math on how many drops we should have actually had. We should have had almost eight drops by now. 7.9 to be precise. We've had three. But you know what? I'm, I'm just happy that they're finally coming. Keep them rolling, boys. You know what? I'll take some earth, earth runes. Earth runes will get us more XP out of our air runes. And I'll take a prayer level 2 while I'm at it. Who else do you know with this many thief kill count? I am a hero to the people of Valamor. There's no way they're not going to accept my passport application. A good Valamor later in government. Cleaning up the thieves after this, I'm going to go clean up the bandits. I am a hero of the people. I'm doing Fortis proud. I do miss my capybara though. Oh my gosh, another one! Let's fucking go! We've got an entire 32 airstrikes. That might even get us to water strike and we can get more XP out of those. Just want to be able to get that magic off the ground. Is that our first dwarf weed? Yeah, that's a rare one as well. That's the rarest. That and Lanta are the same. Did we already have a Lanta? No, we've had Aventon. Dwarf. We're both 1 and 237. I think we've had every other drop now other than Lanta Dime. In fact, I think we've had every other drop of any kind from them at this stage, just comparing the lists. Other than beginner clue scroll, but that's because we got one banked. We've had multiple notifications saying we would have got them. We have now seen almost all the drop table, just one more item. But it's not one that we'll care about having for a long, long time. Extra mandarins though, not gonna complain at that. Saves me from hopping to pick them up or waiting for respawns. 30 combat level. We're at a scorpion aggro now. Which does mean we can go pick up those iron arrows as a potential source of ammo. Yes, more air runes getting. We got 40, finally, coming through. There's 29 attack. I was hoping we'd get 30 before having to bank, but with two inventory spaces and no food, and it's saying 20 minutes on the clock. 20 kills as well, or 19. I'm not confident that we can get level before leaving. Oh no, this guy's been hitting us. That's gonna have to be it on that trip. Ooh! Wonder which evil Bob it is this time. Fishing. Okay. That could give us magic XP. I think the last one got us up to level 7 fishing. If this got us up to level 7 magic, it could actually be insane. I don't know if it'd give the exact same amount. Come on, magic! Make me happy! <sighs> 650 magic XP would have been insane. Okay, I'm gonna finish off this 30 attack, but that in itself isn't the interesting part. The interesting part will be when I have the adamant weapon, and I'm gonna need to make some money for that, so I think I'm gonna go do some mining and smithing after this attack level, just off camera and chill for a bit watching videos, and then start recording again when we're getting to the fun parts when I've made some money and purchased some upgrades. And that's where I decided to cut episode 2 off, so there is still one more episode that I've already got filmed where in the episode I'm referring to it as episode 1, when obviously it won't be, it'll be episode 3. But after that, I will be caught up to me. I'm not sure how that works, actually. Make sure you hit the like button, though, because you liked it. 
hopefully. If you're here at this point, I kind of assume you did. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope everyone's as invested as I am. It's going great so far. I'm actually gonna go and play some more before I edit the next one because I'm ahead of the schedule on this. I already released one like a few hours ago and I've just finished editing another one so we're ahead of the schedule. I can schedule this for tomorrow and go and play some more if I really want to play some more. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you see what playing I do and don't play about. Leave a comment too. Bars. Till next time look after yourselves be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.